Hello, my friends. My name is Nina. This channel is about spirituality and personal development mixed in with a bit of tarot. If this is something you resonate with, feel free to subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more readings. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. So the message we are channeling today is going to be a twin flame reading for the sign of Leo. If you want to skip straight through to the message, there will be a timestamp below in the description box. For rules on how to receive tarot messages here on YouTube, please check below as well, guys. Especially if you're confused, I've laid it all out down there. For your full tarot scope, be sure to check your moon, your rising, your Venus. Other placements will give you other messages. Now, before we jump into the energy, I'm going to clear the space. I'm going to set the intention. During this time, I invite you to clear your own thoughts, set your own intentions by thinking of the specific person or asking a question you have on your mind. So let's dive in. Spirit, guides, Archangel Uriel, Raphael, and Michael, I call upon you. Thank you for allowing the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to channel these messages. Please allow a clear message to come through to those who need it. Please protect me, the seeker, and the space from any negative entities. Thank you again, spirit guides, archangels. Amen. So Leo, we're going to tap into your energy with the first deck, your past, present, where this is all headed, karmic challenges that you're overcoming at this time. We're going to dive into your person, your twin flames energy with the second deck. Look at their past, present, where they're all, where they're going with their life, and the karmic issues that they're working through. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper here into the twin flame energy, and in this portion of the message, we're going to look at how you guys met or will meet in the future. We'll, we'll be able to tell if you guys have met already or will meet. We'll look at what happened between the two of you in a past life. So in your past life connection, what happened to cause a separation, right? Where you guys didn't complete your twin flame journey. What lessons are you meant to learn here in the present energy? And any advice, guidance from spirit on how to bring your union together. Okay, I'm going to clarify throughout the message and I'll pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you're interested in, Leo, you're more than welcome in joining us. So for your energy, we have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. So let me break it down. In the past, we have the Seven of Swords. In the present, we have the Eight of Cups. Where you're headed is the Eight of Pentacles. And... The karmic issues, the karmic challenges that you're here to overcome, Nine of Cups. We also see the King of Wands on the bottom of this deck. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this is you, Leo. So what does this tell me? In the past, Leo, and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. The Seven of Swords energy here for your past In the past, I feel here, Leo, that there were a lot of things that were hidden, a lot of secrets. Now, maybe this was you kind of keeping secrets, you having to sneak around to do things without your parents knowing, because maybe your parents were overbearing, something along those lines. A lot of times, that's what this card will symbolize, is somebody who feels like they have to Sneak around to keep things hidden because of control. You've worked through this energy. And I do feel like you are still currently working through karmic issues. I do feel like this, the challenges that you've had to overcome in your past, in your childhood, um, they 
weighed heavy on your confidence. So it's like you lost confidence having to sneak around, keep things hidden. You weren't able to just live in your truth. Okay. Now your person, past four of cups, present is the king of wands. So this tells me that you guys are have already met. You guys are currently together. The karmic issues are the seven of cups. The outcome here is the seven of swords. This is interesting. There's definitely a connection here. Leo. Now back to your energy before we move forward. The Eight of Pentacles, this is in your future. So you've been working through your challenges, working to overcome this confidence issue. I also feel here with the Eight of Pentacles that there are big changes when it comes to career, when it comes to finances. The Eight of Pentacles oftentimes will symbolize somebody who's working on creating a business, creating financial wealth, financial stability for themselves. Um, but there's still work that needs to be put in. So clarifying your past, the Seven of Swords, here, Leo, for your energy. We have the Five of Swords, one more card here. Yep. You had an overbearing parent or parents that... It's like you had to play it small. You had to keep certain parts of you hidden in order to please the judge. And a lot of times this will be the case with the older generation because there was a particular way that things were done back then. And to be honest, if you didn't listen, you weren't safe. Now, present energy, eight of cups, like you're... Moving forward, not trying to look back on the past. What's done is done, right? I've worked through things, yes. There's still some things that I've had to work through. But I'm healed. I'm focused on moving forward. Again, what's done is done. Victory. Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So you've probably worked through some emotional things within a family dynamic. So counseling, having those deep, intense conversations where you were able to get closure. Not a lot of people are able to have that opportunity, especially with parents or the people who had inflicted those challenges on them. But I do feel like there was a lot of challenges that you had overcome up to this point. Okay, let me fix the camera. All right, so let's move on to the Eight of Pentacles here for the outcome. I do feel like you and this person are helping and have help because I feel like you are currently involved with this person. You already know that this person is your person. Now, whether you know that this is your twin flame or not, I do feel here, Leo, you know this is your person. You know you and this person have an intense connection on some sort of level where you're not going to be able to get rid of this person so easily. I do feel there are a lot of worries about money, um, a fear surrounding the outcome in regards to that. So, and this confident, the confidence building skills and tools building up your confidence will help you to move through that and overcome those challenges okay I do feel here there may be some changes that you need to make when it comes to your approach or how you um, do things when it comes to your business maybe expanding or looking into different avenues because we have the empress on the bottom of the deck. So this is like, you know, taking the lead, taking initiation, initiative, sorry, pushing yourself forward and, and being in that leadership role. The nine of cups in the karmic 
area, the karmic issues, that confidence piece, right? Building up your confidence will help. And I feel like this person has helped you overcome a lot when it comes to that. And it's not just in relationships that you need to build up confidence in, guys. Um, sometimes we have confidence issues surrounding money or um, surrounding taking the next step in our business or our career. We don't want to ask for the promotion because we're afraid that we're going to be uh, declined. And some people look at it as what's the worst that they can say. Again, overcoming a lot. And I feel like your person, your twin over here is helping you to overcome all of those challenges. Now, Leo, your person's energy. In the past, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups tells me that they probably did a lot of things on their own. They had emotionally withdrawn parents that weren't really there for them. So they learned how to do a lot of things on their own. They have th that confidence piece, like the yin to your yang. In the present energy, and you see the Seven of Cups with the Eight of Cups popped out first for the Four of Cups energy. So they learned how to overcome those difficult challenges at an early age on their own. Just take the lead, move forward, find the resolution to the challenge and take action. In the present energy, we see King of Wands. This is your energy. This is Leo's energy. Presently, I feel like there's a void. I feel like they enjoy life. Things are okay when it comes to life, family, home. There's a lot of stress and worry, anxiety, fear around career. And here's what I will say, guys. A lot of times when there's this resistance, we're really not living in our truth. Well, what's that mean? Living in our truth, on our path, on our purpose. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're meant to be the president of America. Maybe your purpose is doing hair or being a delivery driver. Those jobs have purpose too. But also finding purpose outside of that. So what hobbies? things do you enjoy doing right connecting with other people that have similar interests as well I feel like moving forward this person there's a lot of confusion in your person's life in regards to money a lot of worry a lot of fear and I feel like it it's coming from your energy too Leo this is coming from I know everybody talks about this, but it's a scarcity mindset. It's energy. By you worrying about money, it's creating more of that energy. So how do you take yourself out of this fear-based situation? You have to put yourself in a different state of mind, in a different state of thinking, using that creative brain. Not focusing on the negative, and I know it's hard with all the things that are going on, right? We have bills that we have to pay. But what can you do to overcome those challenges? Like what hobbies can you create income revenue from? It comes back to that, Leo, the more you build your confidence surrounding money, surrounding this worry, this fear, and maybe that means taking the next step in business, you know? Maybe that means if you're currently independently working, branching out and making a bigger space for more like-minded people like you to create revenue streams, you know, and taking that lead in and having multiple streams of income, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other. And when you start taking that lead, we see here the eight of pentacles, so will they. 
the yin to the yang. Let's dive into the twin flame energy here. Guys, thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. The karmic -y issues for your person here. Seven of Cups. It's surrounding money. So I'm not going to go into... I'm not going to keep focusing on that because we know. I feel like the message has been received. Um, but I do feel like there is a need to kind of address that, sit down and talk about like what your next moves are going to be, making a plan of action and, and how you can overcome those challenges together. Again, I do feel like you and this person have already met. You guys are already in, in the union. But I don't feel like you have started to live in your purpose completely. So what, how did you and your person meet? Let's tap into that energy first. Here for Leo and this person, how did they meet? Spirit, please and thank you. Luck. Fate. Destiny. I feel like you were probably out, out and about doing your thing. It wasn't like you were expecting to meet this person. Definitely in an independent type of energy with the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups, it's like right when you and this person met, it was like love at first sight. Love at first sight. Leo. What happened in a past life between Leo and their person spirit, please and thank you. Leo, in a past life, there were other karmic relationships that were getting in the way of this connection. Mm -hmm. And you guys had crossed paths, but everything was getting in the way of you guys initiating this union. So for whatever reason, you guys were never married. You guys were never like best friends. It was like you guys crossed paths, had a very passionate, intimate experience, and then like always thought about that experience, but was preoccupied. I do feel like there's an intense connection here. We have the lovers coming out. Like you guys have always felt this way. So the lesson that you guys come here to learn together is to overcome this financial burden to be able to come up with a plan and work together in order to solve. Not allow the past to hinder you. But make the sacrifices needed to, made in, to make in order to move forward. I do feel like you guys are going to overcome this challenge. But you guys need to have a conversation about how this is going to work. What steps you're going to take to move forward. I do feel like there's some ch other challenge that's causing this burden. So whether this is like a health challenge, something along those lines, don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Because there are, especially if you live in the U.S., there are definitely grants, things along those lines that will help you through those challenges. And just asking for help. That's all it really takes to initiate people coming forward together as a community and helping one another. A lot of times, even if it's like friends and family. So, let's pull out a few cards for advice on how to move through this financial burden. Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If 
you're interested in a personal reading, the information on how to schedule is linked below in the description box. And if you're still here, if you're finding the messages resonating, let's give it a Leo symbol, a flaming heart if you have it for Twin Flame Journey. Leo, <clears throat> instead of turning off emotionally to this person, when you feel in the stressed, anxious, nervous, scared state, there's a need to open up, be open, okay? Understand that we're all human. We all have challenges that we need to overcome. It isn't easy. But it is going to be worth it. Again, I do feel like you and this person are already in union. You guys just need to learn how to communicate, to have a conversation. That's the complication that's coming out here in this reading. Leo, heart-to-heart -heart conversation we've already discussed. Engagement, your love. Life is ascending to a higher level. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic love life. I honestly feel here this is you and this person not being able to open up to one another. It's hard to have a relationship, to have a connection when both parties aren't open to communicating how they feel. And that's not just the positive feelings, guys. That's like the difficult emotions mostly. So, Leo... I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, for sharing the content. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.